says, if they had been mindful of the country from whence they came, mm -hmm. they would have had opportunity to return. Mm -hmm. And here it was, that opportunity. So we see they weren't desiring that country mm -hmm. that God gave them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So putting that in our day then, we keep those promises, like you said, in our mind. We desire those things that God has given us. And then when Satan tries to tempt us, it'll be unreasonable to yeah. think about going back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. It's a good observation, Brother Gene. When you think about the attitude of the fathers, Abraham said to his servant, Don't dare take my son back there. Mm -hmm. This is the place. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Jacob, he went back there, <laughs> but then came back because that was the place That's God right. had promised. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's so right. He left a, what could have been a good life there to go back and dwell in tents. Mm -hmm. yep. Even yes. though he visited the other place. Amen. Yeah, they journeyed, the patriarchs journeyed in the promised land as in a strange land. Yeah. Amen. But they didn't have the fullness. That's right. They didn't have the fullness. All they saw was what they would get evidently after they died. But at any rate, they didn't take advantage of what they, what they saw. Mm -hmm. well, how wicked is it, though, Go for ahead. God to say something and Go for ahead. men to set it at naught? And we're not talking about God just saying the grass is going to grow. Or This is a promise, a commitment that God has made to a people. This, this promise was to them. And they basically said, eh, it sounded pretty good, but we prefer this other. Now, that's what they were doing. Uh, who had their hand up over here? Sister Melissa and then Sister Nikki. I was going to say, like Sister Barb said, if you keep the promises in front of you and you're always seeking that country, if something does come up, then you can throw it down and you might be able to convince That's that right. person and bring them over too. That's right. That's right. I was thinking also that this is, shows how strong deception can be because right. um, when they left Egypt, they were being oppressed. It was hard. Mm -hmm. But after they had left it, um, for them to want to go back to it, they're, they're deceived because it's not going to be good to go mm -hmm. back to that. <laughs> That's they right. They were delivered out of it. Uh -huh. And it's mm -hmm. the same thing with us. When, when Satan um, tempts a believer to go back to what they were, it's, it's a major deception because, it's, for one, it's not going to be mm -hmm. what he's presenting it to be. It's, it's still going to be um, hard. That's right. And Amen. it's, um, I was thinking about, you know, when a dog returns to its vomit, mm -hmm. it's what he had eaten before had come out yeah. and mm -hmm. it's, it's something different now. It's mm -hmm. vile. Right. And for you to return to it, it's, um, it's that much worse. Amen. 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 Brother yeah. Jeremy. Uh, well, also I was thinking of, uh, the importance of, um, how, because of the flesh, how easy it is to forget God and to forget what he has done and what he is doing. And what he, the point isn't for them to stay in the wilderness. Right. The point was to get into the promised land. That's right. And how do we get into the promised land? The giants are so big and they're so great. And this would be a, it would have to take a miracle for us to get in there. How would this happen? They just walked through the sea. It was opened up. A great and mighty army was just destroyed. Mm -hmm. And they came out and they plundered everything that they had without even having to fight. Yeah. Now, this is what just happened. Well, and they forgot this all of a sudden? What is, isn't this what happens to God's people today? Mm -hmm. God, he takes them and, and changes their life and turns them around. And, so, and they're excited. They're baptized. And, and then they, how, how quickly we see people... Go back. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I mean, it's it's what is happening to these people. We, you can't. You, there's no good time to lose sight of what God has done and what He is yeah. doing and where you're going. That's right. There's a reason why God gave us only eyes in the front. Mm -hmm. Sister Maddie, Brother Given, and Sister Logan. And you can see how great the deception was too for them to even think that they could go back and be received. Oh yeah, the mm -hmm. Egyptians were going. Hey, we're so glad you're back. We're going to treat yeah. you much better now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. They were even more hated. Yeah. Yeah. And what about the widows of those soldiers? 
Oh, yes. Brother Given? Yes, it, if people, if people think on what's not in the promised land, this is what drags them down. Yeah. If, if, for instance, if the church can be successfully diverted to dealing with social, domestic, mm -hmm. yeah. national, political yeah. problems, they won't want to go to heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people, some people, I've they, they actually been told this quite a number of times. If my wife doesn't go to heaven, I don't want to go either. Some people are willing to go to heaven unless you tell them, well, you know, you aren't going to be married in heaven. Hmm. Changes the whole picture. It's like giants mm -hmm. in the land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Here's what happened. The church of our day is not being told about the promised land. Yeah. That's right. Think, yeah. Uh -huh. You think how ignorant people are about heaven, about glory, yeah. about yeah. eternal yeah. life. Preach. Yeah. I've heard people preach. We know very little about heaven. Yeah. In fact, when we landed here in this fair city, that was one of the first sermons I preached is how much we know <coughs> about heaven. It was at Westside. And People have not been told about yeah. the government. Uh -huh. So they're even worse off than these Israelites. Yeah. At least somebody went over there and brought back uh -huh. a report. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Amen. Sister Logan, then Brother Tony. When we see this with the Israelites, it makes us want to examine ourselves and say, Lord, help mine unbelief. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Brother Tony. Concerning yeah. the yeah. promises, yeah. now God had in identified certain men like mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to keep these promises before yeah, the yeah, people yeah. they live with these promises in mind. Okay. Joseph said, don't leave my bones Amen. in Egypt. Yeah. Now we're, now what distinguishes <laughs> us from those people, we're all that can be like mm -hmm. Abraham, yeah. Isaac, right. and Jacob, yeah. and Joseph. And we can all be like that. Yeah. So that uh, uh, you just just highlights that, uh, this, how severe the problem has become. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, we were severely cold at, at the point where they refused to go in. But that didn't annul God's, his, his promise. Mm -hmm. There was a rest that he had prepared, mm -hmm. and he was going to bring a people into it. I think Brother Brett and then Brother Robert. That's why it's of, uh, so, well, of, of utmost importance that nothing be added to or taken away from the Word of God. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. Because uh -huh. yeah. really, that's ultimately what it boils down to. All of Satan's deceptions are adding to or taking away from mm -hmm. yep. what God has said. That's okay. right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Brother Robert? And they, we've all lived through a contemporary example of the effects of an evil report. Yep. Somebody said last November that we had a bad economy. Now, if you looked around, we didn't have a bad economy. Not where we lived. Everything was fine. What happened? Somebody said something, and then everyone was fearful. Mm -hmm. Fearful. Why? Because of an evil report. Somebody said something. Yeah. Well, this, somebody come back and said these words to the people, and, and you couldn't calculate what it did to the people. They wept all night long. <laughs> Why? Because mm -hmm. someone said an evil report. Yeah. And so in the church, when somebody stands up and says things like what Brother Goodman said, we don't, we, we, we're unsure. What are you doing? You're taking your unsurety, and you're putting it on all the people. And now they're unsure. You're giving an evil report. That's Lay right. your hand on your mouth. If, you, if, if you're struggling with something that, that conflicts with something God has said, then lay your hand on your mouth, repent, and ask for faith. Yeah. Now, whenever the children of Israel came to Moses and Aaron, uh, and the people were, were very angry with them, but then it says, <clears throat> uh, this is Joshua and Caleb. They said, they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we pass through to search it is an exceeding good land. Now you have another report. They're, they're coming back again now. They, they just didn't let the, what the, the uh, spies that gave the bad report stand. It says, If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into his, this land and give it us a land which floweth with milk and honey. Did you hear the emphasis that they have? If the Lord delight in us, yeah. he will give it to us. He will bring us Amen. into the land. Uh -huh. Brethren, that's our hope, that Amen. the Lord is bringing us in, that he has done the work, that our part is believing and trusting and entering in. It's ours. If God has said, this is, a, I, I've given a rest to my people, and of course Hebrews we won't get there, but where it says there remaineth a rest to the